of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, I'm so glad that I'm able to be sharing with you this part of the JC Music's Marian Talk. Also, I thank uh, Father Joni Changalai making me a part of this. As, uh, and for the last 30 Almost 30 years in the United States, I was part of the preaching ministry as part of the Thy Kingdom Come Prayer Ministry from New York, now in Florida. Me and Father Chengalan, we had the opportunity so many times. I know he's a musician. He's a, we really enjoyed so many times spiritually during our adorations and retreat singings and everything. So I thank uh, God and thank our father Johnny for this opportunity. Now, as we Marian talk, I would like to express that Mother Mary is uh, our mother. Really our mother. So Jesus gave us Mary officially when Jesus was dying on the cross of Calvary. Before he commanded his spirit into the hand of the Father, in John 19, we see that uh, at the foot of the cross in Calvary. When Jesus saw uh, his mother and his disciple John standing at the foot of the cross, Jesus looked at his mother and said, Behold your son. And uh, looking at disciple John, he said, Behold your mother. And there we read that John, Gospel of John, chapter 19, uh, 27, we read that from that moment onwards, that disciple took Mary into his household. In other words, I, I believe that before he died on the cross of Calvary, he gave his mother as a mother for all of the mother of the church. In other words, personally, for every Christian, she is our mother, but Jesus officially gave his mother who really helped him to fulfill the mission of salvation. And he knew that the church needs his mother. And Jesus knew that each individual, each Christian need his mother to overcome the temptations of the devil, to fulfill the word of God in our own life. That's why knowingly Jesus gave his mother as our mother. Like I said, the disciple John took Mother Mary in his own house. So do you believe that Mother Mary, as a Christian, she is with you in your household, spiritually talking? I believe that. She's in our life, every moment of our life, to help us to keep the word of God. We see that when Adam was evicted from Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve, and in the book of Genesis chapter 2, Adam named Eve because she is the mother of all the living people. As St. Paul says that Jesus is the second Adam who redeemed us. So Jesus is giving Mother Mary in the place of Eve as the mother of the redeemed church, the mother of who was saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. At the wedding of Cana, we see that uh, chapter 2 of John, Gospel of John, we see that Mary was there in the household. Jesus and his disciples were invited. So let us believe that Mary is with us spiritually, even though we cannot see. In the word of God, according to Hebrews chapter 12, uh, verse 22 onwards, we see that when we gather, you know, in any in the gathering in the church for a holy mass or gathering for family prayer, there's a festal gathering of God the Father, Jesus the Redeemer, and all the heavenly host, all the angels and all the saints joining with the church in this world. 
and we believe that especially this month of October as we gathered say the holy rosary mother mary is saying the rosary with us because we know that she said the rosary with the children at farima she said the rosary so let us make a point that when angel gabriel came and said these words to mary hail mary we know that probably angel gabriel looked into the eyes of mother mary yes look the eyes of that young girl mary believing that she is with us spiritually let us make it a point let us say say the same word looking in faith into the eyes of our mother hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen oh blessed mother intercede for us the church and all the humanity amen